So I went. So I, I walked down. I went to the school. Oh my God. Water everywhere, bush, nobody. How can you go and put a school there for the purpose that you are building a school? Go to the rural areas. Don't, don't be carried away by when you people come, when journalists come. They take them to a three, four schools, Air Force, and the Kaya. But they're possible. Oh, I agree with how many? That's the point I'm making. People come to the town and show you this, and they go to rural areas, go and see the schools. I can also tell you when he said, uh, when, when he, he said he was going to build modern school in each of the local government, 23 local government. Each of the schools will cost about 4 point something billion. Go to government gear secondary school, Mokudan. I said I was bringing back the boarding system. And we're going to have a power scheme and see how it works before we spread it. So you're going to improve on of that? Of course. Project. No, but what I'm going to do, go to that school, in touch girls' school. My brothers and my sisters, you will cry. We'll go and see what, you have, what we've done there today. Go to Bira Bid Memorial Grammar School in Bori, in the another central district. Go and see what we have done there. Go to Yemoni Grammar School in Abonima. So how many schools in all? As I speak to you today, mm -hmm. we've been able to put good structures. I'm talking about secondary school. Five now. Mm -hmm. he, he brought down government secondary school Ogu. In Ogu, he brought down the school that he was going to build a new school. The people wept. Why not leave this one that we have here? Continue building the new one. When you finish, we can bring down the structure. He brought down the school, government school, school Ogu, which is the school that Senator Joe Sagibo passed through. The Senator Joe Sagibo went to government school, school Ogu. He wept. Go and see what we've done to them. Go and see what we have done today. So the point is not I built, I built. It's not the issue. No, the point is, are you trying to say that he did nothing? Because that, that's I did not say that. No, the point, the, no, no. the about, point I'm making is that the point know. I'm making. The point I'm making when you have funds, you must have to use such funds judiciously. You don't just want money come because you are getting 30 billion, 20 billion every month. Then you anytime you wake up, we're going to do school there. Going, that is not the issue. The issue is planning. Now you have built those schools. Now the funds are not coming, for example. Now. What I mean by viable? Including the one that was built in the swamp. Well, no, when you say schools, I'm talking about schools that are in existence. That school don't exist, so, so I can't talk about it. L it's not that when you build this, look, let me tell you. He brought down government secondary school, Omewa. He brought it down. If you are going to Asari or Akutoro local government today, by your left, he gave that job to one of his uh, friends, the uh, chief, and the Uchendu. Go and see nice bush, they couldn't even, just go and see. It's not a question of I'm building this structure, I'm building this structure. L let me Structures you cannot even complete. Let's talk about this, Your Excellency, Parliament to put in. Uh, yeah. Because I see people talking about scholarships here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they like to know your plan because some are saying um, uh, you haven't, what's the fate of RSSDA scholarship students? Our fees have not yet been paid years after you said Yes, you yes, it it you see, that I've just said, when I came on board, and then people like politicians who will come and make promises or dance to the gallery, I won't do that. I won't do that. You say you get scratch of 3,000 persons to uh, overseas. 3,000. This 3,000 not only reverse indigenous. Plateau State, Niger State, so many states. Why? You, you had this uh, ambition of being a vice president then. Are they resident in Rivers? Were they resident in Rivers? Were well, they resident in No, not true. Some of them are not even resident here. Not true. We're well, not for a Christmas. Well, the, the, the reason I ask that is very important. Yes, I mean, because yes. if, if you say that he gave people from Plateau State, from all I, the I'm states, telling the you, they are, not, is, they are not residents here. You know, we have the record. But that is not even the issue. The issue is, I looked at it, and the, the administration looked at it. Listen, is it possible to sustain this? Is it possible to sustain this? There are children who are going to resist to read philosophy, religion, English, literature. Economics, we say, listen, these courses will have very good universities in Nigeria. We will still give you a scholarship, but we don't have the money to continue paying foreign exchange. The economy is not that buoyant. So was there a plan? Was there a withdrawal plan for, because... Yes, I mean, some of the students, no, no, let me tell you what, what, what we did. Okay. And we gave offers, and most of them came, and we put them in an adjoining universities, and we're giving them scholarship. Now, there are certain courses we feel, so look, these courses, I think we should allow this. 
medical something in the medicine, in engineering, that we know that we may not have the facilities here, the equipment, the infrastructure. So we should encourage this. As I speak to you, as I just came back, the, the, the director of RSSDA, who is in charge of this scholarship, has told me that, look, we need another two billion naira to pay for the final year students, not all the students, final year students. And that's what we're trying to do now, two billion naira. How many of them? I think there are about, um, you know, 60 or 100. I, I, I don't have the accurate uh, the, uh, number, I can say that. But it's because of uh, exchange rates. What happens in the rest? And that, that's what we're saying. So some of them refused. Those of them were saying, look, these courses, you can handle it here. Why not come back and let's sponsor you? The state cannot now. And that's the reality. People must be told the simple truth. I'm not going to make a political statement when I know that it is not achievable. When the last administration, when they were here, you can afford to throw money around, you 